Hey, greetings YouTube. Performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we're going to be working on a Mila Blue Magic, which was one of Mila's top of the line machines at a certain period of time, exclusive to diamond dealers. So let's start taking it apart. Always, oh, it's pulling these covers off. Always makes me a little bit nervous. Pull the spring out, pull the accessories out. I missed this older dusting brush. Uh, that Mila used to equip. And this one, uh, well, somebody was using it without a bag or at least without a genuine bag. Uh, it's got some crap in it. I'm not too happy about all that. So we're gonna go clean this up the best we can. That comes apart. Uh, these are called an electro clutch, by the way, is the name of this part. Uh, and this is one of the few things that really dirt can cause to fail in the machine. Um, if you'll notice that right there, yeah, stuff gets in here. Anyways, you'll just need to end up cleaning this out uh, like I'm about to do here. Uh, that's basically it. Everything else is kind of dishwasher safe at that point. Oh, not those. We got to take that off. Um, so something I've discovered is that the painted machines are dish more dishwasher safe than the non-painted machines, which I find to be an interesting uh, phenomena. This guy is ooh, stuck in there. I mean, everything is just super tight on these. All right, let's get to the body on here as well. This just takes part like any, uh, any other Mila 300 series. If you haven't seen one of my uh, 1080p videos on those, uh, I've got a few probably. And this is what I like to call the second import run of Mila. Oh man, there's just crud everywhere on this. We'll need to vacuum it out the vacuum. All right, so once this is off, if it gives you any trouble, you can hit it with a hammer. Usually they're good. Oof, don't know if the camera is picking up on this, but there is a bit of dust in here. Uh, again, all this should not be dusty. Everything's modular, has Molox style connections, or uh, there's another word for these kind of connections. Anyways, everything just comes unplugged very easily and is very serviceable. There is one plug right here. There we go. So that comes out there. And same with the motor. There's just a little tab here I'm gonna get with the screwdriver. And you'll notice the motor's an Amtec motor. At this point they were using US made Amtec motors. And then this can vary depending on which motor is in the unit. Boom. And uh, now you can wash everything. All right, we're back and I have this thing all washed and cleaned out as good as it's gonna get. Uh, took a trip in the dishwasher as usual. Um, I also cleaned the motor up off camera. Uh, so let's just start putting it back together. It's all pretty self-explanatory on this machine. I gotta move this. All right, hopefully the mic is better now. 
Um, we've got most of these parts still in the dishwasher container here. Move them out. Uh, this guy just goes in here. As always, when I'm putting something like this back together that has little rubber bits, we're going to try to preserve it with a little bit of pledge. This is more a dry climate thing. Now, for some reason, this rubber gasket, even though it's completely symmetrical, except for this tab, I have no idea why that, that was a decision they made. I always thought that was kind of odd. Let's put this in here. Rubber motor mounts are just a beautiful thing. Every vacuum cleaner should have them. All right, so the motor goes in there like that. There we go. Uh, and as you're doing this, just kind of line up where the screw hole and the screw hole over here is going to go. It's just going to go in there like that. And our motor is just going to poke itself in there. Again, very, very easy. Just make sure your gasket's settled. And then there is a little black little screw that will go on there, like so. Um, as far as this guy goes, this little thing is eccentric, so you know which way it goes. Though all the connections do go straight through. There you go. You can see everything is just perfect. that up. A um, couple of things you can do here with this when you're putting it back together. A little bit of oil on that spring goes a long way. Uh, everything else should be fairly clear and you want to make sure there's three layers of spring there for it to retract properly. This one looks good. So test that before you put it back together, just in case. And the uh, the self vacuuming part of this cord rewind goes right there. Oh, you know what I neglected to do, folks? I'm sorry. I neglected to put our motor insulation in. all that right yeah that should go in there just like so and you want to just make sure all this is settled properly this one looks good Saw that little jet of air come out of there. That was all gunk in the self-vacuuming part of the cord reel that happens. Uh, now basically we just put everything together. Just how it came apart. So, uh, so you'll have some screws that are different from the rest. I just realized there's less screws on this than a 500 series, uh, but you have more pieces molded. That's interesting.
All right, let's put everything back together. It's a lot simpler than it probably looks. And that's what I love about Mila. So all this just kind of snaps in like so. And then we just have a variety of these screws that are just all exactly the same. They're all just gonna go in uh, kind of depending on where they're at. Uh, and again, these machines are old enough, you probably want to do it by hand. That's why you're not seeing me uh, put anything on with the drill. I, I don't want to break anything, uh, especially since this color is particularly rare on this variant. So let's see what we got here. In here, I've got a, one of those, one of those. And there are my last pieces. Um, now, with these direct connect, what they call clutches on the series of machine, there's a couple things you want to do. They're, they need grease on them, so there'll be grease all over the electrical contacts. you got to make sure you clean those up and just make sure they're dirt free. As if there's anything in there, you know, it's not going to make very good contact. In this design, there's two contacts on the rotating part. So there was a lot of attempt made so that even if one was blocked or impeded somehow, would still be good. You can see why I'm just wiping off something. And this is the part that went in the dishwasher. It was much worse before I put it in. The other thing I like to do with these fingers is just slightly bend them in again so that they're making great contact. Now, putting this piece in there, there's a couple of things interacting together, so we'll talk about that. This interacts with that and swivels around there. So again, this is a good time to put some grease on there. If you got grease laying around, this is when to use it. So this part's gonna go in here and swivel. So we do need just a little bit, not very much. Literally, that's, that's good. So when you put this piece together, also these rings do come off as well. So this, you see these guys, so you want to make sure that, and if you have the uh, type of grease that commit, that's called like dielectric grease that conducts electricity, that's an awesome thing to put on here because this does make like a squeaking sound from those fingers sometimes. And that, that would be an awesome thing to put in here. I don't have any of that, unfortunately. Um, so the next thing I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on. And you can see where it's just worn over the years from the part just spinning around. That's basically it. That's that's more than enough uh, for this part. And this this will just go just like that when you put it back together. And it looked like the gasket was holding some water. It's actually been several days since this thing's been washed. Yep. All right. So. We don't want to mix water and electricity together. So that's why I'm just making sure with this gasket here, blow out any excess water. I've never had one of those hold water before. So like I said, this piece swivels 360 degrees. And once you swivel it for a second, you see there, wipe off any excess grease. You really don't want that going in there. But yeah, that's how the clutch goes together. Now there's a couple little things going on here I want to discuss. This machine does not have the automatic uh, suction control. If it did, there would be a hose going into this. Before you put this thing on, mess with anything further, what you want to do is just attach the electrical leads. It's a lot easier to do it now then later, once everything is screwed down. So that that's my like tip of the day on these. Um, also, this finger has a tendency to break off as you put it together. So put these screws in and then do that one kind of last.
All right, we're gonna put the spring in here. Just gonna go in there like that. Now the cover is not supportive here, so you gotta support it with your hand when you do that. See how that just goes. Make sure you put your customer's tools back like that. Now, a few things before I get any further into this, put the lid on. All right, all the filters and bags are in. Let's see if it works. That's working great. As always, there's links below to some of my supplies if that helps you out. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Check us out on some of our other platforms. We do uh, videos twice a week, so hit that bell notification.